So when we first started the work, we thought we would, <laughs> it might take a couple of years, you know, let's define what we're talking about, let's implement it. Uh, we weren't really quite sure, honestly, what to expect. I can tell you now, while we have implemented a lot of things um, over you know, almost 12 years, there is still so much more that we're still trying to do and still trying to tackle to kind of embed our values of diversity, equity, and inclusion into the organization. I will also say that um, Gear Up is an organization that has just been had quick growth where the organization grew 20 to 25 percent every year and so with that level of growth we also faced changes in our leadership team that it, at different points almost took us a step back because it was you know the leaders who are driving strategy driving what's the priority driving initiatives were now brand new and having and weren't a part of all the conversations we had with earlier executive directors around why this work was important how to go about leading this work with your teams. And so there were different points in our journey where we almost took a step back and had to realign and refresh. Even though we had an, an onboarding pro program for the organization and specifically incorporated diversity, equity, and inclusion into it, there was more that we needed to do with some of our executive directors and some of our other leaders, national leaders, as we continue to try to integrate, integrate this and embed this into our work. If an organization does not have stated in writing their values around diversity, equity, and inclusion, that really is a first step and that does take time. Um, and you know, in our experience, given the size of organization we were, that took a year. That took a year of having the right conversations of what are the things that are real for us around this issue? What are the questions that we have as it pertains to our students, our alumni, our staff's experience, and our board? And what are our values around diversity, equity, inclusion? And that took a combination of learning together as the planning team around DEI and then actually putting something in writing. And then there was a vetting process with leadership where they were learning together and then also you know, building some alignment with that statement. And so I think there's a little bit of, um, a, little bit of a back and forth between building learning in as you're building alignment to your, your statements and your values around diversity, equity, and inclusion. And um, I've seen many organizations start with the staff and get clarity on what that is. And then as they have that clarity and they have that written statement, then move to the board. Um, to the second part of your question in terms of the pacing of ongoing learning, you know, it's just really important for an organization to number one, just resource a point person to drive it um that was really important for year up and then and then making sure if there were ind different individuals that were point for board staff and leadership that they were coordinating and connecting amongst each other and from there uh based upon the rhythms of each of those groups really just setting annual learning goals i will also say that in my experience doing learning at least quarterly within that organization felt right uh, more than that is great. However, sometimes we can get amb ambitious and think, oh, we're gonna do something every month or we're gonna do something here and it doesn't happen. And then as you bring in new people or as people are experiencing challenges, we haven't done anything around DEI in a year. But I have found in my experience doing something quarterly, at least on the staff level, really does keep the conversation going and keep people engaged.